All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning on this green morning in the market. Um, so I wanted to make a video today just to talk about the market, what went down yesterday. I wanted to talk about Facebook in particular. So uh, if we look at Facebook, it's up still slightly today. It was up way more, but um, the stock's trading about 150 per share right now at the moment. Um, so Facebook, we put out that video a couple days ago and said, hey, we like Facebook here. It's trading about 140 a share. And uh, we put our money where our mouths were and we bought some calls and it worked out. We were able to off offload those calls for a pretty good profit this morning. And uh, yeah, when it comes to Facebook, it's kind of funny how market psychology works because people loved it at 220. Now it's at 150 and they hate it. They loved it up here at 220 when it was roaring higher and the valuation was, you know, way less favorable than it is today. And they hate it down here at 150. So it's a $70 difference in price. Is the picture really that different? I don't think so. So immediately after the market closed yesterday, CNBC put out this picture of Mark Zuckerberg's face and said, oh, uh, Facebook misses on, on revenue. And they did, but they also beat on earnings. The earnings came in at 176 versus 147 expected. Um, ad revenue growth came in at 35% versus 38% expected. Total revenue growth, 33. Daily active users, 9% versus 10% expected. So there was a slight top line miss. Obviously, the top line earnings is the revenue. Um, and there was a decline in European usage. Uh, attributed to the general data protection regulation, which is some European law. Um, but there wasn't a decline in U.S. user counts. So that was looked at as good news because uh, advertisers trends showed that uh, advertisers are not leaving Facebook. They are actually paying more for the Facebook platforms, which includes which includes Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger. And now they're doing that little rollout of stories. So. Facebook continues to show that it's a wide moat company and the company can continue to adapt to the consumer. So whenever people come out and say, oh, Facebook's a one trick pony. Don't you know that it's for old people and they're leaving? It's that's couldn't be any more incorrect because Facebook has multiple platforms right now and they're sitting on forty two billion dollars in cash assets. So I think they're going to continue to research. Uh, invest in research and development and they'll adapt to the consumer but um, the monetization of Instagram stories is expected to grow or Instagram and stories is expected to grow and the guidance for Q4 was actually slightly better and uh, the expenses the operating expenses are expected to rise 50 to 55 percent but they had forecasted up to 60 percent previously so it's a slight improvement so uh, if we're looking at, at the valuation of, of Facebook, um, Morningstar has a mean, um, expects the EPS for 2018 to come in at uh, 742, which would represent a uh, multiple of 21 times 2018's earnings. And then um, if you're looking at 2019, we get a, a figure of 835 for earnings. And that would represent uh, Facebook trading at 18 times next year's earnings. So for a company that is expected to have a compounded annual re revenue growth of 23% and it's only trading at um, 18 times next year's earnings, uh, the company is no longer expensive like it was at 220. Um, we think it's more reasonably priced and we think it's a good wide moat stock to add and buy and hold for the next five years at this price. Once again, we look at this stock price and how much further could it fall? It, certainly it looks like it's broken its its support here, but we'll see if it remounts. You know, people were overly negative. There was really bad, um, a really bad sell off here in October. So we'll see if Facebook can, um, can remount and kind of continue this trend higher. Certainly there's some support here at the 133 level uh, where it kind of previously broke out at. But um, 
I like Facebook here and I think that if you're looking for a stock to buy and hold in kind of an uncertain um, uncertain environment I think Facebook represents one of those one of those stocks um, another thing too is remember as the interest rates continue to rise uh, it's gonna become harder and harder for these companies to post um, post earnings so I do think that we're topping out with this market I do think that after midterms we might have a much clearer picture of this bull market resumes but uh, protect yourself obviously don't put all your money into one stock and obviously having some cash on the sideline is a good protection mechanism so um, be reasonable here guys and I just wanted to follow up on Facebook and just say hey this story this growth story here is uh, is still intact and I do like Facebook for the next five years here so we're gonna continue to own it I did sell my calls this morning because I like to take profits when I can but I still have shares of Facebook in my portfolio and will continue to hold so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe comment below on our analysis and just say um, what you liked about it what uh, what you think of Facebook and I'll also comment too like if you guys want us to evaluate any other stocks or holdings um, feel free because we uh, yeah we're always looking for for ideas so um, write a comment below and uh, have a great Wednesday take care